Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me again, Taiwo. Hope you guys are doing well. If you are an old body, thank you very much for sticking around. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can get more videos like this and updates from me. So I just really, really, really want to go straight to the point in this video because I don't want it to be too long. Um, number one, it is hard for you guys to watch a super long video. <laughs> I know that. And it is hard for me also to upload a super long video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the last video that I uploaded which was about um, the reason why I broke up with my husband I would really you know encourage you to go to my channel and watch that video I will leave a link up there so you can check it out and then I would also leave a link after this video at the end of this, vi this video so that you can check it out let's get straight to the business okay so this video is a video that I have made before okay I made it I think around la I think last week but I didn't like the you know how it came up so i it's been very very hard for me to just sit down because i've got three kids okay i'm married at the same time so i've got three kids and it's so hard to juggle family life around youtube and making all these videos but it is a message from god i strongly believe that because i just know that there's something there's a reason why i've decided to just make this video tonight okay um so i feel like there's definitely someone out there that needs this information and it's very very important for me to listen to what god is telling me to do and to come out here i hope you guys can see me well to come out here and and um, speak to you guys ignore the um sound coming from the back um the title of this video is about why i am not having sex or i'm not having enough sex in my marriage i went for a conference well it's not a conference it's like a motherhood gathering kind of thing or kind of program where the lady that organized the program asked everyone to write something that is bothering them and anonymously okay you don't have to put your name and then we dropped it in the cup and anyone can pick any of the questions and read it out to the to everyone and then anyone can pick up the question and you know answer the question and everything so one of the questions that came up was that someone all of us were moms okay um so most i think most of us i think about 98 percent were moms and they were married as well they were with their partner and um they said someone said they're not having sex in their marriage and i was part of the people that answered a question I'm um, under that question that answered under that question and um, what I talked about because different people were saying um, you know you have to be romantic um, you know I, I remember that one that was what some one lady said but the, the one that came to me from experience was that um, the first point that I'm going to share with you in right now which is peace okay I feel like peace is very very important in your home it's very important in your marriage and this was exactly what how I said it there that if there's something bothering you in there then there's no way romance is going to flow there's no way you know that sex life is going to flow because at the end of the day sex is not just sex it's love making between you and your husband and it comes from a place of peace because you're making love you know peace and love goes together if there's no peace love won't reign and you're making love if that makes sense so if peace is missing if there's something if there's a burden you're carrying and you don't want to share with your husband it could be something you've dealt with you or maybe something that has happened between you guys between both of you in the house and now because there are so many differences going on it's snatching the peace in the house away and you are having to carry that within you because you don't want to start an argument if you open up to your husband that or your wife that you know this and this happened the other time and i didn't like it that's just an example so it's very important for you to recognize that peace is very very important if that peace is missing it is going to affect your love making regularly um with your spouse so that's the first that, that was what i said you know and i did encourage that person i don't know who the person was but i did encourage that it's very very important for us to recognize as a lady most importantly that you have to speak to your husband i feel like we were not nurtured in such a way that you have to speak like there are so many burdens and there are so many things placed on a woman on that female figure thing that um you know you, you will talk too much or we can be too chatty so or too many things so because of that we hide the weight from coming out or being ourselves because we don't want to you know blend into that name that they've given us in the society and i think that is what that that, that is one of the reasons why we 
carry on a lot of burden and not like want to speak out to, to my husband to, to your spouse and you know it could be anyone it could be a man or a woman it's very very important for you to understand that you have to speak that burden don't just carry it by yourself speak it out again okay, with your husband so that was the the, the the answer that I gave in that conference so when I got home I spoke to my husband about it and we had a chat and I felt God telling me that I need to come on YouTube and talk about it with you guys and I did my research and um, God gave me some points that I think is very very important for me to come out here and share with you guys now I'm a Christian okay and I believe in God and I hear you know I mean we all know when you seek God he tells you he gives you messages isn't it so me coming here again just like the last video that i made is a notch from god to come here and speak this to you guys okay so i've got um one two three four five six points i've already shared the first one with you which is peace it's very very important for you to try and pray for peace and walk for peace be intentional about peace within your home as well so that's the first thing that i want to share i don't know where that what that noise okay so the second point that came to mind when i did my research was that um it can be for medical reasons okay it can be for medical reasons where um we deal with you know different for example mental um issues like maybe depression anxiety post-traumatic um, stress disorder or even if you're on a particular kind of medication those kind of medications can also reduce your libido it, it can um, make yeah it can lower your libido so those kind of things as well can be the reasons why you're not having enough sex in your marriage and it will be also hard for your partner to understand if he doesn't have the knowledge of that so it is very very important for you guys to also think about this together and talk about it together and do your research together and ask questions you know ask your medical practitioner or your doctor you know ask them if you are going on the medication what are the side effects you yourself do some research and um once you understand that okay the medication is probably the reason then you probably can work on some other things that can help relax you more and put you in a place that will help your libido maybe you know do being mindful of yourself or doing some meditation or exercising and all those kind of things to raise your um, serotonin level another thing is depression isn't it which is a mental another mental issue depression is something that I can talk about because I've been there before and I did had that issue when I was going through depression because I my husband didn't understand at that time that it was the it was the depression that I was going through because depression is connected to your um, serotonin level another thing it's kind of blends with the first point where I talked about peace. One thing that leads to depression as well from experience is when you're holding things in for such a long time and you're mounting them up within you and you're not letting it out. You know, it can get to a point where your emotions become numb. I mean, this was what happened to, happened to me anyway. And it was, you know, it got to a point where I just couldn't take anything anymore and I just went so low into this depressed state. So that is another reason why I would really, really encourage you to speak to your partner it is very 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 important so that's my second point now my third point is going to be mainly about like past major traumas i mean let's face it if you've been molested before in the past if you've been raped if you know if you've been sexually harassed or assaulted in you know all these things can you know can create a blockage you know within your sex life it can it can create this because it would almost feel as if you're experiencing that same um thing that's happened to you in the past again whenever you're probably having it with um making love with your husband or your wife you know that experience would always come out so it is very very important as well to speak and to recognize that you going through that past major trauma wasn't your fault so it is very very important for you to step out there and just try and be bold and understand that but it's like you're speaking to your husband or your spouse or your wife about this thing that you're hiding you know it's like a shameful part of you isn't it that you don't want to you know speak to your spouse about but then 
you have to understand that you're stepping out and bringing yourself out and showing them your vulnerability and exposing all those those parts of you know of your past is very very important for you as well if and it is also important for them to know so that they know all of you and they see all of you as well and that will also help you heal from that past experience and that past major trauma that you've had so it is very important for you to recognize that as well that if you've had a major past um trauma a major past sexual trauma it is very very impossible that that will affect your um love making relation with your spouse so that's the third point and the fourth point oh i've actually got five points not six points <laughs> so the fourth the fourth point that i want to talk about is um for example if you are married for a wrong reason so like if you didn't really love that person or you didn't pray or you didn't hear <laughs> from god you decided to do your own thing and just you know go for this person because you just wanted to do something or you wanted to cover up something or you just needed to get married for so many other different reasons it could be maybe because you know for financial reasons it could be for security purpose it could even be that you are sexually attracted to the same sex and this is something you don't you don't want to open up to the public and you decided to get married so that you can hide this part of, of you so that's another thing isn't it that's another thing that um came to mind that god placed on my mind it could be that reason as well that maybe there's something you are hiding or they are hiding or, the, or your partner is hiding and i'm not saying this will be the case for everybody but what i'm just trying to say is that if you're married for the wrong reason speaking about it is very 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 important as well I, I mean when you come to realize this i would advise that you pray okay pray about it because for you to be getting concerned that you're not having enough sex or making love with your partner then it is something that is bothering you so i would you know it is very very important for you to speak to them about it now going back to the last point that i made about maybe if you've been through a past um trauma um, experience um it is very also important for you to speak to someone about it like get a counseling that will also help you heal okay you also need a professional um help to help you heal now it is not compulsory that you speak to your spouse before you seek a professional help you can do it either way you can speak to your spouse first or you can get that professional help first to help you know up the right way to deal with it or to speak to your partner about it but it's very important for you to also make sure you seek for help to help you heal okay so i've said four points now and now my last point is um something that i know that god gave to me now it is very very important to understand that sometimes before we get married we can do some other things you know that we are not allowed to do <laughs> okay now past defiling is it is, is the fifth point that i want to make okay and that past defiling is basically premarital sex you know having that making love or having sex with other people that you 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 were not married to before you then met your spouse you know there's a connection there and it is very very important for you to understand that this connection okay is a way that the enemy uses to get access into your life and it can be they can like the enemy can get access into your life through different places you know it can be through your finance it can be through your through your husband or your wife it can be through your married your your sexual life it can be either through your through your children it could be through your career it could be through your purpose you know and that's another thing isn't it when you're in a marriage it's not even mainly going to be about whether you're having enough sex or not purpose is another thing isn't it but well, let's just come back and concentrate on, on the reason why I'm making this video which is mainly about you know why you're probably not having sex enough sex in your marriage and it is very important for us to understand that all these past things are not you know fine we're not seeing that person anymore but there was a connection and that connection that was once established okay is something that has already given access to the enemy so it is very very crucial that you understand this okay because the bible already says that my, my people perish because they lack understanding once you are able to grasp and understand that that connection that, that was established before needs to be disconnected needs to be broken and then you need to 
speak to your spouse about it now i would advise okay before you speak to them okay that you pray to god about what you're about to do because because i truly understand just please ignore the noise coming from outside please understand that you me coming here today okay and you clicking this video to watch this video today is not just by chance it's not just by you know by I'm just clicking it I, I believe this message that I'm giving to you is for you okay because sex is not just a thing of sex between husband and wife it is something also that that creates more connection on so many levels and if you're not having enough sex in your marriage then the enemy is going to be happy okay because that connection is not going to be well established so it is very very important for you to understand okay that you need to pray and prepare your spouse's um, mind okay pray to god to prepare your spouse's mind and to also prepare you to be able to move through that stage of you telling them about your full past okay about your full past because this is about healing and at the end of the day it is also about the both of you and about the both of you being able to release yourself to each other completely so when all this past defiling has occurred there are also things that can cause um distraction there are things that can cause a blockage there are things that can you know cause disconnection between um, husband and wife so that's going to be the end of this video i hope this video has been helpful don't forget to click that subscribe button if you are new to my channel and i just want to drop this very very quickly to say thank you very very much to all my past subscribers and to the newly subscribed as i've noticed that i now have some new subscribers as well i really really appreciate you guys for the love i will be bringing on some some other messages on this channel because i i'm just getting this this huge huge feeling to just come out here and speak about some sensitive topics and controversial topics and i'm up for it you know i'm, I'm up for it <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys